<laughs> yeah, bye. <laughs> All right, XOXO. <laughs> Got a girl. Audrey at Home is filmed in front of a live Pitbull audience. <sighs> Good morrow and Mary. Yikes. <laughs> That's better. <laughs> we love a morning mimosa moment. Good morrow and merry meet. My name is Audra and you are in for a treat. Yes, that's right. You heard me. It is in fact morning. 8.37 a.m. to be exact at the time of this filming. <laughs> Cheers. All right, my little demon dolls. So what we are here with today is another episode of New Makeup Nonsense Bingo, which is a super fun game. Hi, BB. Can I have the white paw? He doesn't let me throw it. He just likes to squeeze it until I stop talking because he wants me to cuddle him, even though we were cuddling mere moments before we started filming. Any who's it. New Makeup Nonsense Bingo is a fantastic and fabulous game created by my dear friend Emily Hanhan, who has been doing this in concert with my other dear friend Teresa of Teresa is Dead. Now, if you're here from the, their channels, I would like to say hello. I, I guess I'd like to shout it. Hello! How are you? I hope you're having a great day. Thank you for stopping by. If you would, consider subscribing if you like what you see here. Think. In who's it? What is new makeup nonsense bingo? Well, it's a drinking game, obviously, and it's a bingo game, and it's also just like a will I buy it, but with like more sass. My version tends to be a speed version because I generally don't have a lot of time. I work about six days a week, about. I actually do in fact work six days a week. So with that being said, let's go ahead and show you my bingo card. And I'm gonna go ahead and show you what we are working with, but before I do that, just a quick note that if you also want to participate in new Makeup Nonsense Bingo, and you have to say it just exactly like that, like you are a television show host, new Makeup Nonsense Bingo, and you're selling it, all right? Just remember that. Uh, you can add your video to the playlist. All the information is in the description box below. So without further ado, I know I did a weird blink. We're not gonna talk about it. I just felt like closing one eye, like I try to wink, I'm not good at winking, so it just always comes off like I am, in fact, having a stroke. I'm not. Here's what we're working with. So let's just address the elephant in the room, which is Ariana Grande's R.E.M. beauty. Here's the thing. I was right in the last new makeup nonsense to uh, accidentally call her Selena Gomez because it's the same. So it gives off the same vibes and it also very much gives off like all May. Does anybody else see like all May Neutrogena, like like if the two had a baby and just added like a shmeetin of color, that would be REM Beauty. I am, you know, I was, girl, maybe you shouldn't have shown us this. In the last one I was like, girl, just show us. Now I'm like, girl, maybe you shouldn't have shown us this. I don't like it. I'm sorry, I don't. I don't find that it's cute, it's not innovative, it's very boring. Uh, I'm glad that the, like I know people, price point wise are probably excited, but it just isn't giving much. I feel like we waited with all of these like futuristic drawings and what we got was just like the past. Do you know what I mean? Like we wanted to go, you know, that's the sound that they make whenever they're going to the future. Did anybody else watch that show with like Jerry O'Connell? Remember what I'm talking about? And that, that man who had like the dark hair and the barrel chest and the deep voice. We're going to move on. It just is so boring. And I get that it's probably like her aesthetic, whatever, you know, fine. Okay. But this is so underwhelming. 
Like, I, I can't remember the last time I was this underwhelmed. And like the name, here's the thing, the names of things sound exciting. Like they're like 10 interstellar highlight toppers. But like, <sighs> that's all I can do is make like a sad sound and be like, I, and here's the other thing. I'm gonna say this out loud because someone needs to. When you have three mostly light arms and then you just put like the darkest arm you could possibly put there, that's, that's not what we're asking for. I don't know when brands are gonna figure out that like white and two variations of tan and then dark isn't what we're asking for. We're asking for a good variation because it's still mostly white. Like <laughs> it's still mostly white. And I see this on like little like every swatch. They're like white. You know, it's like white. And then it's like white light. And then like whitish. And then it's like dark. So I just need them to have like a variation in between like the darkest possible skin tone, which by the way, this arm is gorgeous, but also like there's variations with us brown people too. I know it's so hard for, for y'all to figure that out, but there, we have variations in our skin tone. So like, could you put like three brown arms too? You know, you have three white arms. Could you have three brown arms? We could, four and four, we could be an octopus. Any who's it's, I'm not into it. I don't want to buy it. I am super disappointed. I literally want a square that just says wah, wah, wah. <laughs> like I'm so fucking disappointed. I'm going to go ahead and just call it um, new influencer celeb brand because it did finally come out. And let me just be fully honest and transparent with you that I will not be buying that, period. Not even drunk me will be interested in um, giving up my coin for that. I would rather keep my coin for more bougie ass skincare because listen, I'm saving up a bit because I'm gonna try some La Mer, you know? I'm putting coins away. Okay, this I'm actually really excited about because if you can't tell from the look I have on today, I fucking love greens. Like, I love greens. And, you know, I still have Emily to thank for that because I was just terrified of using green. I thought it looked stupid on me. And I know people are like, green is for brown eyes. I don't care. Don't, don't start that shit with me. I am a brown person. I felt like wearing green eyeshadow was just, like, overwhelming. Let me just bring you in closer so you can see that because, like, bitch... Are we having a moment together? I hope so. Ooh, any who's it's. So the thing is, I, I actually really do like this. It's the Poison Ivy palette. Uh, and it is by Mil Milan Row Makeup. And it is in collaboration with Doodles by the Bunny. I don't like saying X anymore. I don't know why, but it just makes me feel uncomfortable. It's like... Milan Row Makeup, X Doodle the Like, why? When did we decide that X was like the collaboration? X becomes. X is just. X is very non binary. I wanna just. Can we reflect on that for a second? Because X just like. Anytime. Like, it's just. It's all things. It's all things. Christmas at an X. You know? Any who's it. I just feel very like. It's $39. It's a very. Oh. Today is the 14th. I was gonna not do this because I was like, you know what, Audra, you being stupid. You know what I mean? I was like, you will get, that'll be my third green palette in a row that I purchased. I got the Ace Beauté. Uh, on the low low, I actually went and got the Glam Light Martini, like <laughs> the Apple Martini one. I did. I did get that on the low low. Listen, I do what I want with my life. And um, this is actually, like, it's very pretty. Uh, I love green palettes. I feel like, w okay, if I got this one, would you like me to compare the three palettes? If you would like me to compare all three palettes in one longish video, please drop a snake emoji because I don't know what happened there. Let's move on. Anyway, I really like this palette. I think it is absolutely stunning. And considering I haven't eaten any breakfast, I'm gonna call this drunk me would buy it because drunk me is like, I'm already becoming drunk me. Uh, and so I think, you know, please hold while I access my account, which means I'm buying it now. Move away from me, move away from me.
Okay, so Beauty Bakery has uh, revealed their palette that's coming out. It's, I believe it's in, like not collaboration, but exclusively with Target and CVS or whatever. It's online, right? Um, and while this palette is super fucking cute with a great price point, uh, Beauty Bakery just, um, mm, 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 mm. they leave a bad taste in my mouth. Uh, especially because like there was just a whole lot of like, just, I mean, jazzy, jazzy. Like the tea got re-spilled on Twitter and I was like, baby, mm, I forgot. So I just, like, I think it's a cute palette, right? Like I'm like, oh, this is cute, whatever. But like, I can't get myself to do that today, tomorrow, or the day after that. Theoretically though, the color story is really beautiful. Like if you take out all of the bullshit, the color story is really pretty. It's a, It actually fits into um, things that I enjoy. Uh, the shades that I enjoy, you've got green, you've got the berries and the cranberries. I like it, I think it's pretty. I feel like um, if, like, because it's very Thanksgiving-y. Oh, and that makes it look more holiday bullshit and we moving on. <laughs> look at me being snazzy. Okay, so Lunar Beauty came out with a face palette. How innovative. Okay, this is, this, listen, here's what I'm gonna say. Let's say I own a candy shop, right? And I'm like, I make some of the best candies. Everybody loves my candy. And then I'm like, y'all, get fucking excited. I, I'm gonna start selling ice cream. And people are like, yes, bitch, sell ice cream, okay? Then, when my ice cream comes out, it's just strawberry. And you're like, where are the other ice creams? And I'm like, <laughs> it's a bit expensive to make other ice cream. And I feel like y'all should all like strawberry. Strawberry is good. Strawberry is delicious. When I literally could have just taken the money and made another candy that was delicious. I'm good at making candy. I am a candy aficionado and maker. I don't know what the word is for maker, but I am really good at this. And if I had just made more of my delicious candies, everybody would have been like, Audra, this candy, fantastic. But when I branched out and I decided to make ice cream and only gave you strawberry, you were like, I don't even like strawberry. And I was like, that seems to be your problem. That's how I feel about this. That was a whole long uh, story to tell you. I will always say this. I don't care who the brand is by. I don't care whether or not I like the person. My issue with coming out with complexion products and then uh, putting it on expense to make it enough for everyone uh, is fuck you. So here's my problem with this. And for those of you who will show up and go, <laughs> they don't have to make shades for everybody. First of all, Becky, I'm going to need you to calm down because that's not what I was saying. Here's what I'm trying to say is if you want to make complexion products and you do not have the money to make it for everyone, um, cause that it's not the money. That's the issue. Just say you don't want to. That's all I want these brands to do. Just say you don't want to just say you don't want to make deeper shades. I'm fine with that. Just say it. Cause if you say it, then I'm like, at least you said it with your chest and you were honest. I can move the fuck on what I cannot forgive for most brands. No, I just, I can't, I've done it with literally Wayne Goss. I have done it with um, Tower 28, my nemesis. I don't like this narrative of I we're a small brand because that's not an excuse because that, that always becomes a thing. Oh, we're a small brand. Just don't do it. Just say you don't want to make it for the darkies. Just say it and we'll, we'll be okay. We have brands. That's a, We have brands that we can use. That's why when people are like, I'm like, no, no, we have brands we can use. We just want you to say it with your chest that you didn't want to do this thing. If you're going to talk about inclusivity all the time and say how a shade range is trash and then you're going to come out with trash, I don't, I, I don't believe you. Like now, any credibility you've ever had with me, and I don't care about mixing it. I don't care that one half is a highlight. I don't care. I don't 
care. So <laughs> this I'm going to go ahead and call a complexion product with a terrible range. I'm sorry, I know that there are people who were like, what, but it's not it for me. So I'm gonna leave it at that. Manny, I still wish you all the best because um, generally that's who I am as a person. Like I don't want bad things to happen to you. I just want you to do better. All right, bye. It's the Lisa Eldridge Foundation. Now, I need for y'all to know that yes, am I, am I a dirty bird? Yes, yes I am a dirty bird. All right, but here's the thing. You absolutely cannot tell me that this doesn't look like what I think that it looks like, okay? Uh, in <laughs> kind euphemisms, it looks like a taco with a cilantro piercing. Can we say that? It is a lot. Like I, when I saw, I was like, am I losing my mind? Like, am I like, cause the first picture I saw of it, I was just like, it just like, is that not what the top looks like? I'm, like, am I wrong? Like, please explain, I'm putting the picture up. Am I wrong? Am I the asshole here? That's what it looks like. It looks like a hood piercing. There we go, I said it out loud. It does, it does. I feel like, did you do that on purpose, Lise? Because, okay, girl, I'll see you. Um, I am actually really tempted to pick it up because if you don't, if you're new here, I am a foundation whore. I'm a whore for foundation. I am a whore. So I really enjoy it. I have such a good time. I would like to try it because I feel like um, it would be fun. It would be beautiful. I have been loving like more liquidy like oh, oh my god Natasha. Anyways, I love a like a sheerish foundation moment. I love a foundation that isn't like uh, Covering all my sins because some of my sins I want to be seen <laughs> You know, it's a warning. So I just am looking forward to trying this. I think I, you know, we'll see if I can swing that because I'm currently, as I said before, trying to stash away funds so that I can, what, buy La Mer. I want to try it. It's in my, it's like, it's a thing I really want to do. Let me live my life. So at this point, I'm really just going to say, I'm gonna call this foundation again uh, because it is, it is foundation again. Like, let's not, Let's not pretend that it's not. And uh, yeah, we're gonna move on because I think I might have had already. I'm gonna go eat some food and we will return. And in an effort not to be outdone in the uh, adult toys that look like makeup, or I think it's the other way around. <laughs> KKW has revealed their fragrance, which frankly looks like a vibrating egg that you stuff into your hoo-ha and have a lovely time at dinner at Applebee's. Anyways, uh, there's three fragrances, Fruity Floral, um, a, like o Opal Mood, Opal Drip, Opal Energy. I gotta say, the packaging is cute, like it is, but like I don't uh, fully understand how you store it. Am I a moron? It's round. Where do you, where, like where do you, um, where do you, uh, I was gonna say where do you put it, and then I was like, I think it's interesting. Um, I think it's interesting. I think it's fun. I, <laughs> I like, listen, I'm not a KKW fan, but you know, I've been saying, I've been softening in my old age. Just kidding. I'm holding grudges like a motherfucker, but I like, I'm trying to be nicer to other people so that it makes up for the grudges that I hold. I'm going to call it major copycat vibes. Here's why I'm going to call it major copycat vibes because of the aforementioned bullet in the at Applebee's. So, Let's move. All right, the moment has come for Melt. Amor y Mariposas has been released. At the time that I'm filming this, I feel like they just now said that you could have just the palette. And it's their collection. It is a big palette. It's very expensive and it's, like for me, it's expensive. For some of y'all, it may not be. <clears throat> Price is subjective, those are facts. Uh, so here's the thing. It. 
they have been really going out of their way to get people to like buy this thing. I've seen it on Twitter where they're just like 90s love child, uh, the fancy face. Spooky lips and fat hips. Many people have been talking about just like how they've been getting spammed by them. Here's my initial thought. First and foremost, I don't think it was a good idea to try to release like the PR bundle and be like, hey, pay $500 for all this shit. My opinion, obviously. But I feel like it's it didn't make sense to do that. I feel like release both things at the same time. Like I don't, I, I get in their minds, they were like, if we release the PR package and bunches of people want the PR package and then we like sell, it's, y'all. Do they not know what's happening in 2020? What people are leaving their jobs in droves. This is not the time to be like, get a whole $500 collection. So that's my two cents or five. I like to give five cents. Anyways, because two cents is so arbitrary. Anyways, I like it. It's pretty. I, I would actually call this put it on my face, but like also maybe not for $70. Like I know, I know I'll spend ridiculous amounts of money on skincare, but like I'm trying to be more, a little bit, just a little, just a schmidgen, just a little bit more like um, thoughtful about what I purchase. I like this palette. I've never gotten anything from Melt Cosmetics, and I'm sorry I'm shouting at you, but I've never purchased anything from Melt Co Cosmetics. The only thing that's really stopping me is there's two for six, six shades for sure that I feel like would not complement my skin tone at all. Like at all, the blushes. Uh, I'm. This is another thing that I why I wouldn't pick this up uh, for me because there's only like two blushes out of the six that would look good on my skin. Like they're like, oh, we have a blush palette. It is literally the orange and the pink. Like that's it. I feel like the rest of it, it's a no go for me. I mean, it's an. You see what I'm talking about? Like the the last two shades, these two shades, it's like, that's it. I feel like I would not look good with anything else, so that makes it not a purchase for me. I I don't know, this is like a hit and miss. It's, it's a weird thing. It both hits, because I'm like, yes, but also, no. I think the color story is beautiful, the packaging is fucking stunning. I feel like I should try Milk Cosmetics. Let me know in the comments by dropping a four leaf clover, which is completely ar arbitrary, if you would like to see me talk about the Milk, Milk Cosmetics palette, because I'm not doing it for you, I'm doing it for me. As many people have said, like we do in fact hate it when beauty gurus are like, I did this for y'all. No, I'm doing it for me. I, I I would also want to find out, like even if I bought it, I don't have to, there's things I buy that I don't ever, ever put up on my channel because I don't fucking feel like it. But, I, I just, that blush palette is not it. I think I might go ahead and get the eyeshadow palette and then like leave it at that. But yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and call it, put it on my face because I've been talking too long. Bye. <laughs> so Tarte has a new collection coming out and it is the uh, Tartlet In Bloom collection. I don't know what's blooming. Uh, Cause this is, listen, I understand. Beige baddies exist, and there's nothing wrong with that. I will always say that. The world cannot exist with all colorful bitches. That's not how it's gonna work. Howsomever. Why would you call it in bloom? First of all, we're going into winter. All the trees, all the nature just... I have a plant in my house that I am struggling with right now, right? Did y'all hear my neck crack? Anyways. I don't understand why it's called in bloom. Like what, why would we be blooming in the winter as what I'm asking? It's very, very boring. And I am justified in seeing a lot of people who I can see looking at their avatars or their profile pics, whatever, that they wear a lot of natural makeup. So to see natural makeup, like not nat, but like neutral, that's the word I'm searching for. To see neutral makeup bitches be like, this is so boring and also love these colors, but the palette overwhelms me. Like seeing that, I'm also like, yeah, I think it's 
Like I do see some people who are excited about it, like they're neutral and they're excited, but I also feel like it's just weird. Like I just kind of wish that they had, like this would be a spring palette, not a like winter palette, my opinion. So I am going to go ahead and I am going to call it same shit new packaging because that's honestly exactly what it is for me. It's just, it really is the same shit in a different packaging. Nothing has truly changed. It's just bigger. It's just significantly bigger. So I am not into it. I'm not into it. That's where we are. All right, so this NYX came out with a <laughs> weird collab. And it's, if you love Netflix and are a fan of the show, this is for you. I've never seen Casa de Papel Money Heist. Um, I, not even because I don't have time. I mostly spend all my time watching, you know, horror films. And I feel like I put this on at one point and then as soon as I realized, is it dubbed? I feel like as soon as I realized it was dubbed, I was like, no. I will watch subtitles and I know that you can like make that happen, but I, can't. So I'm like, I can't do it. It becomes too much work for me. I'm like, oh, this is too much work for me to watch this. I know it's terrible. And I know that makes me like a bitch or like lazy or whatever, but I just can't be bothered. Like, I, I'm like, I want to watch it with subtitles, but I, I can't. I, <sighs> pushing all the buttons. Mm. Anyways, honestly, when I first saw this, I thought it was Morphe because it was so fucking huge. Like, and I, again, throwing everything in the kitchen sink at a palette and then being like, also, like we have a giant palette and then we also have like a nine pan palette. Why didn't you just release the nine pan? Like just ditch this ginormous piece of shit. Do the nine pan. Cause the nine pan is actually kind of interesting and fun. It's got like the fiery shades. It's a good time. The big pan is kind of like, what, why did we do this? And it's just like a lot. Um, and then there's like a big ass mirror. I actually try not to buy a lot of mirrors cause like I know that this is a weird place to say I only have one face because I have a gazillion eyeshadow palettes, but I do only have one face and I don't really switch out mirrors. Like the, the mirror that I use, I use it specifically because I can bend, you know, like the, the handle, I can bend it to where like I can hold it. I'm a dropsy person, you know what I mean? So like, I don't want um, something that I'm, I can easily sh shatter and have seven years of bad luck, even though that's not how that actually works, but we'll move on from that. Um, I just feel like it's a lot and I don't understand why that's happening. Obviously, I'm not a fan of the show. I am going to tweak the rules because A, I definitely need to go and eat my um, Mediterranean breakfast. Uh, and B, did I say A? And B, I am a little sleepy. Like I wanna take a nap. I wanna like remove the gloss and like nappity nap. And it's literally 9.23 in the morning. Like listen, nobody should be this but, well actually, it's Mimosa Sunday. Hey, brown girl Bella. <laughs> like, is it Sunday sips? Whoop! All right, so anyways, I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna call this an oversized Morphe palette because that's the game that they're actually playing. Um, <laughs> That's my opinion. That's my opinion. And I feel like that's the game that they're playing. They're playing a game where they're like doing the Morphe thing, but not being Morphe. So I'm gonna call it an oversized Morphe palette because nobody ever said that you had to say it was in fact Morphe. It could just be a palette that's oversized like Morphe and that my friends, my dears, gives me bingo. All right, I'm gonna take my drunk ass to bed because I'm super sleepy, honestly. Uh, <laughs> I need a nap, I'm already tired. I've been up for, let's see, it's nine. I've been up for like four hours at this point. I'm already tired, I know. Bo doesn't care that I had the day off. He doesn't, he doesn't care. Y'all see him? No, you don't, he, like it's just my big head, let me. There's like his round body. Any who's it, thank you so much for watching this video. I appreciate each and every one of you who did. Sorry I got a little bit more sauce than I intended, but obviously I'm drinking on an empty stomach at this point and I didn't really think this through when I started this. If you enjoyed this video, please do me a flavor and give it a big thumbs up so then that way the algorithm goddess can do what she does best, which is push me further down into the algorithm so that I can continue to do what? Whatever the fuck I want to. And as usual, huge shout out to my patrons and
spooky base. Yeah. All right. Without y'all, I truly would not be able to keep the bats and the belfry and the spiders firmly ensconced in their webs. We are going to have even more Zoom hangouts. I know that it's not, it's not necessarily always going to be movie night. Sometimes we're just going to Zoom hang out and just chill. But I really appreciate y'all because you do not really truly understand um, how important those Saturday hangouts are. For me, I'm gonna get emotional for like no reason. But they're very important to me because like honestly, I work like the way that I work and um, that's like my reward after like six straight days of like busting my ass and doing all of that. It's just so nice to be able to just chill and hang out with y'all. Even when I like, even when I'm at my most tired, I just really appreciate that. I don't think y'all really understand how, how important you are. So anyways, that's it. That's enough. I'm going to stop being weird. If you, for those of you who watch, like share and subscribe, I appreciate you as well. And as usual, it costs zero, zero dollars to be kind. It's so good for your soul because if you don't take care of it, I'm sure shit coming for yours. I mean, I won't be drunk, but I'm coming for it. Until next time, XOXO. <laughs> Got the girl. <laughs> also, look at my shirt. Look at my shirt. I'm just going to get the palette and move on with my life. You know what? Don't get all shoppy shoppy. It has an exclusive launch that is with talk, 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 talk. You want me to throw your white paw? Wait, I think I can still do it. It's the good ship. Lolly. No, I can't still do it. Don't get shoppy, shoppy, girl, because you just, you in that mode. You feel in some type of way, obviously. You've had a rough time. Remember, like, I don't feel like people really understood how Shirley Temple always took like this. Oh, no, Mr. Oh, no. <laughs> pop, you pop, pop. Hold on, hold on, hold on. I just be pushing this button like I got money to burn. And it's like, girl, you have a whole other week before payday. You better calm your ass down. I cannot wait to eat my fucking chicken. Like, is it 9, 18 a.m. and I'm going to have chicken with rice and olives? You're fucking right I am. You know why? Because breakfast food is garbage. Anyways, let's dance. Put on your... <laughs>